welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. As you guys can see by the title down there, today we are doing a video a little bit different than my normal videos. So for today's video, we're going to be talking about an urban legend. And now this is an idea that one of my coworkers gave me. Um, she actually obviously watches Baby Sarian and she actually told me like to give it a twist and talk about more like urban legends. So before we get started, I do want to give obviously credit where credit is due. And if you guys don't know who Bailey Sarian is, she's an amazing YouTuber. Um, I'm going to link her down below. Um, and I do want to mention her. I want to mention Bella Fioni as well as Brittany Bond. Those are the people that I have uh, seen kind of like on the platform. For this like series that I'm doing, I'll be covering different urban legends as well as like stories, UFOs. I'm super interested in like UFOs as well as true crime. I mean, if you do know me in real life, you guys know how much I love true crime and I actually bought a book that I'm like super excited uh, to like dive in and it is the big book of serial killers and it is definitely a thick book and it's just full of information about different serial killers and I that's the kind of thing that I like to listen to a podcast and yeah so I wanted to give this series a try I hope you guys enjoyed before we get started please don't forget to subscribe in the little button down there I'll link below the products that I use. I wanted to give kind of like a disclaimer um, before starting the series that obviously like I'm not taking credit for these types of videos but like I know that Bailey Sarian like she kind of like started this but also like Bella Fioni she started doing more like unsolved mystery um, and like crime and so um, I actually did some research and I saw that also there's this other girl her name is Brittany Vaughn, I think. And I'll link them down below as well. I'm from San Diego, so Tijuana, like I grew up in Tijuana, and so my first language is Spanish. And so I grew up hearing about these like urban legends. And so the first one that we're gonna be talking about today is gonna be the um, dancer without a head. In Spanish, it's called the La Bailarina Sin Cabeza. And it's such an old story um, that I remember like hearing it from when I was little and so I picked that one because it's something that I've heard directly like stories from. It happens around the Casino Aguascalientes that was built in 1927 in Tijuana and it was because in the 20s uh, as you may know or may not know but there was like a law in the United States, a provision law, that there was not going to be any production of alcohol distribution so like drinking or anything to do with alcohol it was completely prohibited in the united states and so in 1927 in tijuana they decided to build a casino and they named it agua caliente and that was built if you're from tijuana you know lazaro cardenas that's a high school and actually that high school used to be the casino so casino Los calientes became um, one of the first like night entertainments in Tijuana and like obviously a lot of tourists cross the border to come and drink alcohol and just party. So the story says there was a young dancer in this casino and obviously when they opened the casino they also wanted to have some type of entertainment. So this is the story that it has a lot of like or I've heard and read a lot of variations. So. The one that I'm telling you now is the, the one that I knew from when I was little. And so it's kind of like the most known version of it. And so it's about a dancer and she really wanted to become famous. She actually, that was like her dream. She thought, you know what, if I start working at the casino, maybe, you know, I'm going to get, I'm going to be able to like know people and I'm going to, you know, make it in the industry. And so she started working at the casino and uh became one of the best dancers actually of the whole like casino and like everybody knew who she was and so she was a very beautiful um girl and she would get a lot of attraction from the tourists that would go to this casino so then one day so one day she met a guy now on some of the places that i read it said that it uh, it was an english man so he was from um england but i couldn't verify that so we're just gonna stick with a guy because we don't know where he was from now i know that i keep saying like the dancer and like a guy that's because we don't really know or i couldn't really find um her name and like information about who exactly she was again this is like a legend so it is said that as soon as they started talking she 
fell completely in love with him. She was so infatuated with him and everybody could see that. This guy, he had a really bad habit of cheating at the games. And this was something that um, people were kind of like starting to notice. And so one day, the owners of the casino, or not the owners, but like people that were overseeing the casino, they realized that he was cheating during the games. Um, so he could like obviously win more money. And so they actually threw him out of the casino and they told him that he could not come inside anymore so he was not able to play anymore he was not able to enter the casino ever again obviously he was extremely upset that he was not going to be able to play in the casino anymore he decided that he was going to deceive the dancer and he actually convinced her to start stealing from the tourist and because obviously she was so infatuated with him, uh, she decided that obviously she was gonna help him with this. She actually started um, stealing watches and jewelry. In no time, she collected a lot of bunch of treasure that obviously she wanted to give to her lover. And so one night they decided that they were gonna meet and she was gonna give it to him. They planned to see each other to bury the treasure so that nobody would be able to find it. Obviously, they didn't want to get caught with, you know, everything that she had stolen from the tourists. So then now that they were going to see each other, she was leaving the casino. And from afar, she saw her lover with another woman. Now, obviously, she lost it because she was doing all this stuff for him. She was stealing from her clients, like, at her job. Like, she started doing things um and she kind of like forgot about her own dreams like she wanted to become famous and she wanted she was going after that like that was her ultimate goal and I, so in a fit of jealousy she decided that she was going to keep the treasure and she was going to bury it and she was going to go and bury it in a secret place that obviously only she knew she obviously was not going to give the treasure to her man because you know she just saw him with this like girl and so she went to the place that they obviously had said they were gonna meet so that she could give him the treasure and he was already waiting for her there and he was he looked very anxious waiting for his treasure and so she actually told him that she had buried it in a secret place and that she was never going to give it to him and obviously he went crazy and he took out a knife and he actually beheaded her and so that same night um, she had already you know scheduled a show that she was gonna uh, perform in the casino some say that that night she did show up and she performed but she did not speak to anybody and as soon as the show was done she left and nobody saw her again so now a lot of residents of Tijuana believe that it was actually her spirit the one that gave the show and obviously not her because of what had happened to her from that night um, it is said that there is a dancer without a head that appears uh, dancing in the tower it's called El Minarete and it is a really tall uh, building where um, supposedly you can see her spirit at night a lot of versions of the story a lot of kind of like um, for example I read that the guy was English uh, from like England um, and I also read that she was Spanish uh, she actually came from Spain to Tijuana to kind of like become a um, famous dancer so I mean it is an urban legend I love hearing about those stories even though like obviously I get a little scared that's kind of like the story and now I remember uh, I decided to make this like the first story that I wanted to tell because since I was little I remember my brother-in-law he told us a story of how one time um, he used to play soccer with his brothers um, at the high school and one time um, I guess I mean I this is from what I remember from when I was little and they were like playing at the high school and their ball kind of like rolled away and um, I don't remember who the person was like in charge to like go get it that person went and supposedly like they saw her like dancing and indeed she didn't have a head 
and so they all like left running the high school So yeah, that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed kind of like the little story. If you do have any stories that you want me to cover and kind of like learn more about and tell you guys uh, in a video, then just leave them down in the comment section. I would really, really appreciate it. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe in the little button down below. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. And until then, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.